lovelies, this is Megan from Little Hot Tamale and today we are going to make some mixed media dashboards for our planners. If you don't have a planner, I'm going to show you toward the end of the video how to convert a composition book into one. Alright, so let's get started. To start off with, I'm using cardstock and it's meant for printers. And I'm just marking off my paper so that I will have a six and a half by eight and a half piece of paper. And I'm just using the line that I made as a guideline for my wavy scissors. And depending on what type of planner you have, your paper for your dashboard may be smaller or larger. Okay, so now we're going to use some watercolor and this is just going to be our base for all of our mixed media. So just have fun and put it in smaller and larger sections here and there on your paper. If you don't have watercolor, you can always use Heidi Swap Color Shine as a substitute. After you're satisfied with your base background, set it aside. So now we're going to use our leftover piece of paper from our dashboard and create some fun ombre letters. To do this, we're going to add some watercolor to our paintbrush and go from left to right and work our way down the paper until our brush is out of watercolor and then you'll just repeat the process. For the next step you can either directly draw your letters onto your watercolor paper or you can create a pattern. For my pattern I'm sketching out an X and an O. First I drew the X and I fold the paper over twice to mark how large the X is with a crease so that it'll act like a guideline for my next letter so they'd be the same size. And I'm just going to cut those out and use them on the back of my watercolor paper. Now when you're using your pattern on the back of your paper, keep in mind that it will be reversed on the back side. So let's say you spelled out the word cute. The C and the E will be backwards when you trace it on. And then when you cut it out and flip the image over, it'll be the right direction. Hopefully that made sense. <laughs> then you can cut them out and you'll have beautiful ombre letters or numbers. For the next layer on our dashboard, we're going to create a nice blending effect. I'm using my Circle Prima stencil and my blending tool. I just dab my blending tool on my ink pad and do a circular motion on my stencil. And I like to add the nice blending effect on areas where there isn't a lot of color, so mostly where it's white and overlapping areas where there's green. If you don't have a blending tool or a stencil, you can always do a similar effect with a chapstick and paint. So I'm just dipping my chapstick with the lid on, of course, <laughs> into some paint and I'll just make a design similar to the circle stencil. Now I'm just adding a few watercolor splatters here and there. So you just add some watercolor to your paintbrush and then you just tap it. And of course, a little bit of gold color shine splatters. Next, we're going to do a little bit of stamping. And these are just some tiny Heidi Swap hearts and stars. Now, if you don't have this stamp, you can easily create hearts and stars with a marker. Now, I'm just going to outline my hugs and kisses with a black Sharpie pen. I recommend waiting to do this step until it's attached to your paper because it will make it so much easier. But it's totally up to you. <laughs> okay, so now we're just going to add some dimension to our dashboard. So that would be our letters or numbers that we chose and then anything else that you would like to use. I'm using a tiny heart doily, some strips of paper, and a project life card. For my dashboard, I want the focus to be on the word in the center, and then I'll just add some embellishments here and there, like the frog and the heartbreaker, on opposite corners of the paper. My planner has rings, so I'm using a page for my planner as a guide so that I know where to punch my holes. 
Alright, so now we're just going to start gluing everything down. So I'm just going to start off with my heart doily, add a little bit of tacky glue to the back, and then layer everything on top of that. So I always like to start with the center point, well at least for this project. <laughs> For some added interest, I'm going to staple a white feather to the side of my dashboard. I really like using this particular feather because it's somewhat translucent. You are still able to see the fun watercolor background. If you're wondering, I purchased my feather from Hobby Lobby and it came in a package. Okay, so then after I glued down my hugs and kisses, I realized that it was down too far and my frog is too big. <laughs> so then I just picked a different embellishment and used that on the bottom. To make the mug stand out on the page just a little bit more, I'm going to include messy thread on the back. And I always find it easiest to add some terrifically tacky tape first then some thread, and then a little bit more adhesive. This is my favorite approach to the messy thread look. And then above the hugs and kisses, I wanted to write the word love with some scrabble pieces. And all the embellishments that I'm using today that we didn't make are from my digital collection, Sweet Life. And I'll leave the link down below if you'd like to check it out. Underneath the love scrabble pieces, I included a strip of patterned paper because I wanted to mimic the look of the hugs and kisses and the strip of paper underneath that. And then in the upper right hand corner, I'm gluing down Heartbreaker. And then on the side, I'm just going to staple some fun ribbon. And when you're stapling your ribbon to your page, make sure and try to avoid covering your punched holes. <laughs> and then I'm just going to cut off the excess. For the final step, we're just going to add a few half pearls and gemstones. If you're looking for half pearls, those are the light colored blue ones I'm using right now, um, I would check the Dollar Tree because they have a lot of fun colors to play with at a great price. <laughs> The DIY planner dashboard measures 7 and 1 fourth by 9 and 3 fourths. And we're just going to tape the back side with washi tape. And you're just going to line it up with the other pages and tape it in. Then you're going to repeat the step on the front side. So you're just going to add a strip of washi that goes all the way across and onto the front cover. And then you're going to cut off the excess tape. Now if you close your cover and the paper kind of hangs over the side, you can always use a pencil, mark it, and then trim off the excess. Now this step is totally optional, but I had to include some more of that fun ribbon. So I'm just going to put it in place and then staple it to the dashboard. Just one staple at the bottom and then one staple at the top. And I think that looks super cute. <laughs> Alright, so you guys are probably wondering what all those lines are in washi tape. I had sewn on some of the embellishments to the front of the page. So I'm just going to cover it up with a few pockets. So to do that, I'm just taking a piece of paper that is slightly smaller than the dashboard and I'm just going to cut the page in half, well almost in half. <laughs> Glue the left, the right, and the bottom of those two pieces. So that's going to be our first pocket. You always want to start with the pocket closer to the top and then the bottom pocket on top of that one. And there you go, two pockets for your supplies. I like to add a few notepad sheets and some Project Live cards. And then to brighten up the front of the main pocket, 
I'm just going to make a Project Life card into a pocket. And then some mini Project Life cards in there. And I'm going to add a giant handmade pom-pom bookmark, which I absolutely adore as my main place setting. And then for the other paper clips, they're going to be markers for different occasions or just decoration, depending on what I want to use them for. <laughs> now you have a base for your planner and you can have tons of fun customizing it to your needs. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you decide to make a fun dashboard or your own planner, please use the hashtag LittleHotTamale on Instagram because I would love to see your projects. So I hope you have an amazing day. Toodles!